Hello everyone, I'm Julia Dolgorova and welcome to Gym Vlog 22, The Role of Fats in Human Health, Part 1, Trans Fats. So I'm going to be doing a little series where um, we're going to be talking about different fats and which ones are the good fats, which ones are the bad fats, and things like that. So another name for trans fats, or the full name of it, is trans unsaturated fatty acids. And it's formed artificially through hydrogenation. Uh, it's often found in processed foods and uh, it's factory made. And also when it's made artificially through hydrogenation, they usually take vegetable oils and then that's how they um, create uh, the solid fats. And then uh, there's two types of cholesterol what's deemed the good cholesterol, which is HDL, and then the bad cholesterol, LDL. So they say that trans, uh, trans fats are the bad cholesterol and they're linked to illnesses. So uh, when they say bad cholesterols, they mean that it clogs your arteries in your heart. Um, but what you have to keep in mind is that when uh, the doctor tests you for your cholesterol levels, they test the types of cholesterol, that is in your blood, but what they don't test is the size of the uh, particles of cholesterol, which is actually the important part, because if the particles are too small, then they start to get stuck on the, on the sides of your arteries, and that's when it, there, it forms lumps, which could clog your arteries. So hydrogenation is when they take liquid vegetable oils and they convert them to solid fats by adding hydrogen to them. So the reason they do this is because it uh, causes a longer shelf life and it makes it more stable. So it's perfect for processed and packaged foods. What contains trans fats? So fast foods, uh, store-bought baked goods, fried chips, snack foods, some margarines, um, basically any type of processed food uh, contains trans fats and all basically all uh, fast foods contain trans fats. And uh, traditionally, uh, trans fats were used to enhance uh, the dish's textures and prolong the freshness of it. Now, obesity. Trans fats are present in meals that are highly processed and high in calories. And that's why uh, people who eat a lot of uh, fast food are more likely to become obese. So it causes you to gain weight very rapidly and the consequence is obesity. And the trans fats, uh, the reason they cause you to gain weight is because they cause very fast body fat growth and it interferes and alters with the metabolic processes in your body so your body isn't working properly and it impacts your insulin sensitivity which accelerates the start of obesity and therefore metabolic disease and because of all this fat it's uh, your you can have a fatty liver which doesn't allow it to function properly and your body won't produce bile properly and you won't be digesting food properly so trans fats also affect your mental health. High levels of trans fats reduce serotonin production in the brain. Serotonin is uh, what makes us happy. So it reduces the serotonin in our body, which leads to depression and it could even affect your memory. Then systemic uh, inflammation, it impacts neurological functions in the brain. So uh, trans fats make your body inflamed overall, but because it's also affecting uh, your brain and your neurological functions, uh, you could have different mental health issues. And of course, this influences your mood and cognitive function uh, by the pathways linked to inflammation and insulin resistance. Next is the microbiome. So as we know, uh, the microbiome contains many different bacterias. And yes, there are bad bacterias too. But because if we keep our uh, good bacteria strong, it will um, beat the bad bacteria and it will keep them kind of down. And uh, the good bacteria will be what's uh, the highest population in your gut. And uh, so the cells on our in intestine lining and our gut lining, uh, they have tight junctions between them, which keeps them all lined up next to each other like this. And different um, different uh, harming foods like trans fats, for example, or things like artificial colorings and um, 
seed oils and stuff will actually damage these junctions between the cells and make them separate, which means that bad foods that we don't want in our body, well, actually all foods at that point, will be um, escaping through these holes and uh, going into our bloodstream and our body starts attacking them. So trans fats are another thing that will loosen these tight junctions. So it affects the balance of the microbes in the gut flora and it travels through these holes in between the cells of our uh, gut lining. So the balance of bacteria is crucial for overall health because it will keep um, the cells healthy. It will uh, keep our stomachs healthy and damage to the flora means the holes in between um, the cells, which means a leaky gut, and that's many health problems. Because when this food escapes through uh, the tight junctions in between the cells, our body starts attacking it and attaching immune complexes onto it, because our body doesn't know why is, there, why is there chunks of food in the bloodstream. And then it travels to all over your body, and this could um, attack your collagen, which will make your joints hurt, this could travel up to your brain and cause mental issues. It really just depends where these um, particles of food travel to. So uh, in conclusion, the effects of fat on health is very important to address. So that's why we will be doing a series on it. Obesity, mental health issues, heart disease, and gut damage are what trans fats cause. So it's very important to check your labels and check for trans fats. Uh, check that you're not eating processed foods. So if you stay away from processed foods and just eat homemade things or um, foods that are natural and whole, you won't even have to worry about trans fats because you, you know that these foods won't have them. So stay away from processed and packaged foods. There's a very complex relationship between nutrition and health because, as I said, foods can travel out of your gut and into your bloodstream if you don't have a healthy microbiome and if the tight junctions between your cells and your stomach are loose and it will affect your whole body. So, yeah, thank you guys for listening to the 22nd uh, gym vlog. I hope everyone enjoyed. Bye.